Looks like there could be some heated arguments tonight. What do you think will come out of the meeting, Emma? Well, Becky, there's three possible outcomes of this meeting. The plans could either be accepted or they could be rejected or they could be deferred. Now, they've actually been recommended for deferral to wait until the planning inspector's full report is finished, which will be sometime after the 6th of April. So that could well be what happens here tonight. Now, Lord Derby did go into the meeting in the last few minutes. We once again asked him for an interview, but he declined that offer. We will, of course, bring you the full outcome of tonight's meeting in our late bulletin at 10.30 this evening. We certainly will. Thank you, Emma. Still to come tonight, the latest on the murder of a pub landlady whose body was found in a free... Tributes have been paid to a landlady whose body was found in a freezer at her pub in Norfolk on Tuesday. Although police haven't made a formal identification yet, the body discovered at the Compasses Inn in Snettishan is thought to be that of Becky Thorpe. A 49-year-old man arrested on the Isle of Wight is being questioned by police. Natalie Gray has this report. Forensic search teams continue to comb the area for clues in the murder of pub landlady Becky Thorpe. And as news spreads about her killing, the tributes start coming. Becky, who was 29, ran the Compasses pub at Snettersham with her partner Mike Tucker. Her body was found in a freezer in an outbuilding on Tuesday after worried staff called police. Becky's friend, Mo Lawrence, who herself runs a pub at Dogsthorpe near Peterborough, has set up a special internet site in her memory. It's just one of them things that you don't expect to happen to your family or friends. Um, she was full of life and she had lots of years to go and shouldn't have ended this way. Becky Thorpe met Mike Tucker while working as a chef at this pub he ran with his wife at Totten Hill, which is about 15 miles from Snettersham. In 2008, they got together and decided to open a pub of their own. That pub was The Compasses. Police say they want to know more about the couple. What I'm really interested in is anyone who has seen either of the licensees over the last two-week period, had any engagement with them and uh, any information that they have about what may have happened at the compasses. Becky was a keen hockey player and a member of Denver Ladies, who are based at RAF Marham. Meanwhile, neighbours in Snettersham told how they went to Becky's 29th birthday party at the end of last year. And it was a surprise party. She wasn't there. We all gathered there. Uh, several local people gathered as well. And uh, Becky arrived back. Uh, Mike opened the doors and uh, everybody shouted surprise. And he'd bought a number of presents for her. A 49-year-old man remains in police custody tonight. Natalie Gray, Anglian News, Snettersham, West Norfolk. A motorcyclist from Norfolk is planning to ride more than 4,000 miles in just eight days to raise money for charity. Mark Shelsher from Buxton will set off in October and hopes to raise at least £4,000 for the East Coast Truckers Charity and Help for Heroes. His journey will take him through five European countries. I've ridden around the country. I've never ridden in Europe. Um, the reason I'm doing it is because I'm currently a member of the East Coast Truckers Charity. And obviously with all the um, war and everything in Afghanistan at the moment, um, it's quite feasible to do them both. Plans to reintroduce sea eagles along the Suffolk coast are continuing to meet with opposition by local landowners. Yes, they're pretty fearsome but impressive creatures. The bird of prey hasn't been seen in England for over 200 years and research carried out to find the best site for them in the east of England has prompted some concerns. Victoria Webb has the report. Above the reed beds in Dunwich, a site that hasn't been seen here for two centuries could once again be sweeping across the sky. In the marshes and estuaries of East Anglia, Natural England and the RSPB are considering reviving the sea eagle. They say it could play a vital role in maintaining healthy ecosystems and could also boost the local economy by £2 million. The thought is it will bring bird lovers to Suffolk even during the winter, but the plans are being met with fierce opposition. With a wingspan of eight feet, the sea eagle, also known as the white-tailed eagle, is the fourth largest bird of prey in the world and the largest in the UK. They are opportunistic hunters. As well as fish, they've been known to eat birds and small mammals. Roger Middleditch runs this pig farm at Cove Hythes near Southwold. It's a very peaceful setting and he's worried about the impact such a large bird could have swooping over the corrugated huts. When we're firing the sows down, it's actually imperative that they are left very, very quiet, um, not disturbed and if they are spooked, they immediately jump up and down 
and you know, stand on the pig, piglets. A few miles down the road at this poultry farm in Sotterley, and there are also concerns about the panic these birds could cause. It's a predator. They would be running back to the shed for cover. Um, they would smother one another, getting into the shed probably very quickly. The RSPB has been working with Natural England for three years to find the most appropriate location for sea eagles in the east of England. The site was temporarily switched to Norfolk due to the possible impact on rare bitterns. They say research has shown that wouldn't be an issue and Suffolk has the best habitat to offer them. They were shot, they were poisoned, their eggs were destroyed. It's our fault they're not here and we're very lucky in that we now have the tools to return them to where they should be. Those behind the plans hope any reintroduction of the sea eagle will be as successful as that in Scotland 25 years ago. There's still a lot of talking that needs to take place before any decision is made, but farmers like Roger will continue campaigning to keep the bird of prey away. Victoria Webb, Anglia News, Suffolk. A ramshackle beach hut with a £40,000 price tag has been sold. The rundown hut at Gun Hill in Southwold was put on the market in January and described as being in quite poor condition. Estate agent Durrance won't say how much it actually fetched, but others nearby have gone for more than a hundred grand.